What's up, guys? <clears throat> so, I am uh, installing. I know in an earlier video I had installed my Raymarine on my kayak uh, with the switchblade system. Well, since then I have sold my boat, uh, my bigger boat. And the idea between that was I had the Raymarine and all my spots for even inshore stuff from back home, all on my Raymarine system. And I uh, just felt it was more efficient to uh, just be able to unplug the, the, the head unit and drop it on my kayak. So um, so I had put the system on my kayak, uh, bought a new trans, a separate transducer and a power cable combo. Um, and if anybody needs an extra, it was the uh, Raymarine Dragonfly with the down imaging. Uh, if you need a, a transducer cable, um, hit me up. I'll hook you up. I'll give you a good deal on it because uh, I spent about a hundred bucks just on the transducer and cable and it, and the power cable comes on. So anyway, um, so since then I have bought the, uh, it looks backwards to me. Hopefully it won't be on the video, but uh, I've bought the Helix 5 G2 with side imaging. I uh, got a good deal on this at uh, um, God, Bass Pro Shop, no, Gander Mountain, I think. No, I'm sorry, Dick Sporting Goods. I was looking at Bass Pro Shop and Gander Mountain and um, I went by Dick's Sporting Goods. I don't really shop at Dick's that much or uh, Field and Stream, whatever you want to call it. It's still Dick's to me. Um, so I went back to Field and Stream just looking and they had this one, the uh, display model on clearance and there was nothing missing. There was nothing wrong with it and I've tested it out already uh, for the most part. Uh, not actually putting it in you know, a body of water, but everything works, seems to work. GPS picks up. Uh, quick loads quick so nothing was wrong with it i got it for about 200 bucks cheaper than uh normal i think they normally run for 60 maybe i'm just shooting shooting off the hip there but um yeah i got it for uh just a little over 300 bucks to be honest with you um so it was pretty good uh it was uh the guy said it was missing uh part of the transducer clamp that I didn't need so it didn't matter to me it was the two pieces on each side of the transducer that keeps it locked um you know keeps it uh, snug keeps the tension on it i didn't need that because i'm using the uh, you know it's on a kayak and i'm not even using that mount so it didn't matter to me so it was missing something but nothing that i needed so it worked out great got about 200 bucks cheaper um like i said about 300 so i also bought the um the ram mount uh for it let me show you I'm just gonna show you all this and then I'm gonna go hit the water and try it out. So I bought the ram mount system that's made for it. It bolts right up to it. It's an inch and a half ball. Um, I have the uh, inch and a half ball mount that mounts on my kayak. And then I also have, um, I put it on my, those of you know that I run this pod mount motor, right? I put that ball mount uh, that came with the system on my pod mount. So that's what I'm going to try out today. Um, transducer is, if you remember from the earlier video, it's on a it's on a switchblade system, which will hang over the side of the kayak. I have no desire to use the pod uh, that came with the kayak for a fish finder. I have found that this motor setup, when I want a motor anyway, this motor setup is perfect when I'm not using the motor and I'd be using the pod for storage. Uh, I have a track ball that mounts right there in front of the seat that basically gives me the same positioning. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So I, I put all that together. It was a real easy install. Really excited to try out the side imaging. So let me, so those of you who, who have watched past videos heard me talk, so we moved to Houston, or the Houston area, the Southwest Houston in uh, near Sugarland, Richmond area. Um, so basically, I'm a long way from saltwater. Saltwater is my passion. It's where I like to fish, but it's a, a good ways from here. Um, right now, I just want to get on the water and do something. I just want to fish. Um, so I found a place that's about 15 minutes from me. It's uh, freshwater. Uh, there's some freshwater drum in there. I've already seen them. Gar. Uh, it's got a kayak launch. It's easy to get to, easy to get out. It's not, no boats, no nothing. So it's real simple. Plus, 
my wife's really wanting to kind of get into this a little more. So it's a, it's a good casual place uh, for us to go together. So I'm going to try this out there. Uh, I'm also going to uh, test out another feature that I wanted in this unit was the, um, uh, I can't remember what it's called right now. Uh, anyway, it will map, um, it will map the bottom and you can basically record your route and it'll map and save the bottom depths and the contours as you go, which is something else that I wanted so that when you go back, you know, you know what they are. Um, side imaging, obviously I've never had side imaging, so excited to try that out. So anyway, all that being said, we're going to try this out. Um, hope it works. So I will video. It. Thanks guys. All right. Loaded up. Ready to go. Trailer's still doing great. Long haul to Texas with it. And I can still, um, my oldest daughter, I mean, excuse me, my youngest daughter, she has a kayak too that'll fit on top. So I can go three high if I need to. Got just right. Pull off the sun. Tough to get anything. Chart live going, tracking the depth. That's hard to see. I'm running the same battery for both both of these. I don't need to do that. I'm sure it's going to drain it quick. Um, it's only a 35 amp hour. I need to step up to a, uh, a 55, I believe. That auto charge is pretty cool. Ooh, wind got me. to uh, dial it in get closer this is showing 100 feet out each side including depth but I need to zoom in a little closer 